Well, think of everything that has changed since 1906. Advancements in technology, there weren't even 50 states in the U.S., and 19 presidents have held office. And watching it all unfold right here in eastern Washington, Flossie Dickey, who is celebrating her 109th birthday today. KXY 4's Katie Curry working for you. And Katie, you were there as Flossie cut into that 109th birthday cake. <laughs> Nadine, today when people were wishing Flossie happy birthday, she just smiled and said, it's just another day. Surrounded by friends and family, Flossie Dickey celebrated 109 years of life today. She was born February 18, 1906. At a young age, her family moved to eastern Washington. She lived on a farm near Ponderay River and got married at the age of 15 in 1920. Her kids' childhood were just growing up and taking life as it comes. That's all I can tell you. Today, her hands sit folded on her lap, nails painted pink. But those hands have put in a lot of hard work for one lifetime. Her favorite story is to tell you that she was very, very poor growing up, and she got made a lot of fun of. She always had to work all the way, always had to work. And she'll say, well, you know what? I'm 109, and they're all dead. <laughs> Through it all, Flossie says her greatest accomplishment has been her family from her own three children to her great-great-grandchildren. My grandkids, they say, they say there's 50 of them. I don't know. I can't figure them out because it's too much work for me to get them all straight. It's that sense of humor matched with Flossie's work ethic and selflessness that those closest to her say has been her secret to a long life. But if you ask her, there's no real trick to it. Just living that long, yeah. You know, that's a harder job than you think. Do the best you can. That's all you can do. Well, surprisingly enough, there are still a few things Flossie has on her bucket list. First, she wants to learn how to play golf, drive a car, join the military, and lastly, ride a train. Cheney Assisted Living is hoping to make that last wish come true and are currently working to make it happen for Flossie. Reporting in studio tonight, Katie Curry, KXLY4 oh. News.